oil, we are looking to expand this resource, which has brought the same types of problems that Reverend just described. Our people have been dispossessed of our lands for over 500 years, and this dispossession continues with the expansion of oil and gas within our territories. My territory is currently looking at the development of the largest ever open pit tar sands mine in 2019. This mine is being proposed by a company called Tech Resources, and the mine is called Tech Frontier. A mine called Frontier Mine in the indigenous territories of the Athabasca, Chippewan First Nation, the Miccosu Cree First Nation, and other indigenous communities is simply unacceptable. This project will take up over 29,000 hectares of land of undisturbed, pristine Athabasca Delta region. The Athabasca Delta is recognized for its pristine biodiversity under UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Wood Buffalo National Park. This project is slated to be 30 kilometers from this mine that is 29,000 hectares of land. It is also the critical habitat of the last free-roaming bison herd in the country. It is also the critical habitat of the last wild whooping cranes on the planet. It is the habitat of woodland caribou, muskrat, bison, moose, and many other species that are critical, not just to the biodiversity, but the survival of indigenous communities. This is simply unacceptable. We cannot continue to allow the expansion of these projects, not just for the protection of the planet, but for the life that exists and depends on these regions of the world. We must stop now. Canada is currently in the process of reviewing and approving this project as we are here. They are presenting themselves as climate leaders, but you cannot be a climate leader when you are talking about expanding oil and gas and, uh, and continuing to abrogate the rights of indigenous communities. We must call for an end to these projects and reject companies like the Frontier Mine. Thank you. Thank you, Ariel. And 